In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute wax seal garland to go with a happy birthday banner. So the first step is going to be making a bunch of wax seals. So you're going to want an even number of each color because each seal needs a front and a back. So I did the purple, green, and yellow that were from the June Wax Seal Club box. And when you're making seals, you just want to make sure that your wax is a good temperature. The purple here was pretty good. The green's a little bit too hot. You can see it has a little bit of bubbling going on, especially when I start to press it. And so you want to make sure if it's a little too hot, just unplug it. And when you press, make sure to use quite a bit of pressure so that the wax can fully get into the impression of the design, especially when you have really fine details like this happy in this seal. Once I finished making the sills, I ended up using tacky glue here. So I put a little bit on the back of one sill and then I used yarn. You could use twine or any other type of string or ribbon. I placed that into the tacky glue, then put a little bit more tacky glue and covered it with another wax seal on the top. This worked, but it did take a while for it to dry. So there might be some better glue options out there that you could try that would dry more quickly than this, but it did work once it was dried, it was totally fine. Um, and then place it on and just make sure that the direction of the happy birthday is the right way. I kind of sandwiched it together and held it for a while until it was like holding and then I just let it dry. I've honestly had this idea to try this in my head for so long and so I was so excited when it actually did work. Um, and I think it does look so cute, especially with a happy birthday theme. But honestly, you could do this with any type of wax seal that you have. Just make sure that you have a front and a back and you can attach it to string or twine and make a cute little garland. Like how cute would a Valentine's themed one be or holiday themed? Um, there's lots of fun options with this. This next part, I just wanted to show you how I made the happy birthday banner. So I used a circular shape to create an arch and then I just drew two lines um, on both sides to create um, just the arch tag. And that's what I drew the happy birthday on and just cut it out and used this first one as an example to trace onto the other ones that I had to cut out. And I used paper that kind of matched um, the ceiling wax color. So it all kind of coordinated and looked really cute and fun. And I know a birthday banner is something you could totally just buy and it would make it way easier. So totally go that route. But for me, sometimes I love just getting a little crafty and making it myself. And so that's what we're doing with this one. But I do love the look of the arched paper. I feel like it's a fun kind of modern look. And then I just did all caps, happy birthday. After I finished writing them all, I attached them to some yarn and then hung it up with my wax seal garland and it just looked so cute all put together, perfect for a birthday.